Hi, I'm Melanie with the Pine Bluff Jefferson County Library System. Today I am going to be sharing with you some easy tips that you can do at home during this time to keep your children busy. Today we're going to make some fun activity called uh, puff paint and the paint is actually puffy what you would call like 3d paint and all the items that i am using today came from the dollar tree now that's not a plug for the dollar tree but it just happened to come from the dollar tree you may have all these items at home hopefully and you won't have to go out and get them uh you're gonna need some assorted colors in food coloring you're gonna need some little uh, condiment bottles squeeze bottles a pair of scissors you're gonna need your uh, uh, sandwich bags a measuring cup spatula shaving cream and some glue also some color sheets and these are just some little random color sheets that I chose and you can choose any that you have you know you may have a coloring book or something around the house that you would uh, like to color with the puff paint so let's get started. Let me get my glasses on. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put equal measures of shaving cream and glue. I mean, and then you're going to whip it up. So let's start with the glue. You're going to pour your glue in. Then you're gonna do your shaving cream. Make sure you shake it up. And then you're gonna stir the two together. Now if you notice, I just started with a small amount first because it actually makes a lot. Then we're gonna add our food coloring. Let's see what color we want today. We got yellow, we got blue, let's do blue. Well now let's do let's do yellow. And you're gonna put that. About seven drops, or however many drops that you would like to put in to the amount of color that you want. See there? Look at there. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, that's a beautiful yellow. I think I wanted a little bit more yellow. Put a few more drops in here. Make sure you stir it really good. Now when you get the yellow that you want or the color that you want, 
You'll see. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can do this two ways. The easiest way is to uh, put it in a sandwich bag. Now you also can mix it in a sandwich bag. And then you just pour it into the sandwich bag like this. And you have several children. See, the children can actually help you get it in there. Zip it up. And you push it down like this. Then you let your air out. Back up. Then you get your your paper that you want to uh, color. I'm gonna do a beautiful flower here. Let's put this back in here. Make sure you put your tops back on, and you'll have other colors bleeding into your colors. Have a mess. But you can let the children just have fun with it. Then you take your trusty little scissors here and you find your corner of the bag. And you put your hole in here. Like that. And then you just Puff paint. Try to stay within your lines. Ah. And it's easier to do it if you put it in the uh, in this because you got a, a nozzle at the end and it's easier to guide it. See how puffy that is? And just let the children have fun with it. I'm trying to be real neat with it. <laughs> Stay in my lines. Even spread it out. Ooh, I put a lot over there. in the lines and get some more
more from over here. Well, I really put a lot over there. You can also teach the children about mixing colors and what colors you might want to come up with. Or you can just let the children have fun on their own doing this. And just let them do whatever kind of do their own thing. Mix up what they want to mix up and get what they want to get mixed up. that round there a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna make my center with what I have in here. Now, let's see, I'm gonna change the color. And I think I want to mix a color to get another color. So I think I'm going to take blue. Yellow and blue makes what? Green. Even though we have a green in there, it's just fun to mix the color up. See what kind of color you get. With this one, I'm going to put it inside my my bottle. Pour too much in there because I'm not going to need very much. But this is just to give you an idea of what you can do and how you can do it. Make sure you have your some uh, paper towels. Put your trusty little top on there. Shake it up and bring it down. Squeeze the air until you get it in the nozzle. There we go. And then look at that. That's why I like the squeeze bottle because you can just take it and just go like you want to go with it. That easy, all nice and puffy and pretty. See that? Got my puff paint, and then you put it to the side and let it dry. And once it dries. Still looks like this. This is what I did maybe five days ago. So have fun with it. Just get you some paint and, and have fun with it. Making your puff paint out of glue, shaving cream, pool coloring.
Thank you. Bye-bye.